Aaron Pets and Animals, I'm giving testimony to my dog, Maxwell D.O.G., who has passed away on 3-7-2018. He was euthanized, not to my happiness. I cried like a baby for 10 days over the loss of my little Yorkie, to be on that name. Yeah, I, I wept. I wept. I mourned. It took 10 days to mourn the loss of my dog. So, uh, 10 days to mourn the loss of my dog. Uh, what will we do with that? They're a tensifier. Um, so I'll go there. So what I was going to do is the Zohar says I savor my venison. I was going to teach a little bit from the Zohar. As I, there. So open us in prayer. Ruler of the universe and master of all masters, the Father of mercy and forgiveness, we thank you, our God, and the God of our fathers, by bowing down and kneeling, that you brought us closer to your Torah and your holy work, and you enable us to take part in the secrets of your holy Torah. How worthy are we that you grant us with such big favor? That is the reason we plead before you, that you will forgive and acquit all of our sins, and that they should not bring separation between you and us. May it be your will before you, our God, and the God of our fathers, that you will awaken and prepare our hearts to love and revere you. And may you listen to our evidences and open our closed heart to the hidden studies of your Torah. And may our study be pleasant before your place of honor as the aroma of sweet incense. And may you emanate to us light from the source of all of our soul to all of our being and may the sparks of your holy servants through which you revealed your wisdom to the world shine may their merit and the merit of their fathers and the merit of their torah and holiness support us so we shall not stumble through our study and by their merit and light to our eyes and our learning as it is stated by king david the sweet singer of israel open my eyes so that i will see wonders from your torah because from his mouth, God gives wisdom and understanding. The The reason I'm doing this way face-to-face -face and recording myself and posting these in YouTube and trying to get people into the groups and setting up their third eye awakening and uh, for it is written, for, uh, for it is also written, I do a lot of work and for it is written, you can go there. The Zohar pushes us out into the congregation. How could we go out to everyone? So while it's happening, while it's happening, we have something we can take. May the utterances of my mouth and thoughts of my heart find favor before you, my God, my strength, and my Redeemer. Rabbi Shimon and Eliezer said, my son, stop talking, lest the hidden secret which... Humans know nothing about. <laughs> Got questions on the internet called the Org Ministries for the Friend to Join. This hidden secret is we erase God from the Bible of all things <laughs> on accident. But God knew we were going to do it. Which humans know nothing about be revealed. Rabbi Elizer stopped talking and was silent. And Rabbi Shimon wept and stood still for his a moment so here we have two instances deuteronomy 34 10 the exit to the promised land exit from the promised land the erasure of moses he how where'd he go no one knows where he, he is sepulcher is uh most likely like many of the others uh god took him back up to heaven rabbi shimon then sa said uh, eliezer what is the what is these which is spelled they left. If you see that they are the planets and the constellations, have they not always been seen? So, in ministerial, I'm going to take this over there and cut my venison potatoes. The Zohar says, I favor my venison as I'm doing this. And I'm following that because here I'm working with the Sermon on the Mount, obviously. Uh, that's the 6,000-year Sermon on the Mount. When Jesus saw the multitudes, he went up on the mountain and his disciples came down. And in first person, face-to-face -face contact, smoothing it out for being at that point, moment in time, witnessed account, the, the sermon turns in, turned past tense 
into, well, that's where we arrived. Kennewick Bear, 9,200 year old fossil remain. We arrived Australian Aboriginal 65,000 years rather than a sit down and what's wrong. When Jesus saw the multitudes, he went up on the mountain. He sat down, his disciples came to him. In first person, sure, yeah, up there with the, everything must be, shall be made new again. First record writing 500 years after being expelled from the, the Garden of Eden. The only thing we can make new is make it go away. Find out what we did wrong with it and sit down and do that. The what did we do wrong with the Bible is we pulpit preached it. Let me. We pulpit preached the Bible and we. It shouldn't have been. I'm looking for some. Tail. It there. We, we were not as wise in, in doing that. I have I have plenty of food. I made myself a big fat about cooking the venison. I'm gonna put this in my fridge for the month. At least talk. Um so pulpit preaching. is what I'm out to explain is not how Jesus would have taught. Um, it's just not. It's not how any, it's not how that material can be recorded. So when Jesus wrote that, when I saw the multitudes, I went up on the mountain. I sat down. My disciples came to me. But put, he gave us the opportunity to test that in first person. And we did not test that in first person. Rather, we tested it. How am I going to do this? I'm going to put myself on the cross with them. Putting yourself up there in front of the people as he told us to take him off the cross. So taking him off the cross, what does that mean? That means a 6,000 year earth hallucination and a wandering Jewish rabbi who, who didn't pulpit preach. The... He this ring, he did not pulpit preach. It's uh, October 23, 4004 BC, first record of writing disappointment, uh, 3500 BC into the Sumerian text. Well, that's obvious. Where'd that come from? Did we evolve it? Everything, 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 the evolution of writing. I've come to recognize that the word evolve is. Okay, we don't have the start point, so we're just going to say something happened, and uh, which is what we've labeled it as. So we evolved our government. We evolved twenty-two trillion dollars in debt. Sure, we're here to help you out on that, and we're here. We're doing it through the appropriate manner of working together and coming up with an appropriate solution for that. And this is the world peace capacity of the Bible capacity only the way it's appearing because it goes out into the Dead Sea Scrolls and it only has two verses in the Bible I can actually use got questions on internet called or ministries this I can only actually use those two verses in a in a newspaper article that says by the way we took this out of the Bible sorry and so <laughs> By the way, we took this out of the Bible. Now what? Yes. <laughs> now what? <laughs> Which was the take Jesus off the cross function. Um, the, uh, make everything new. He's a um, good guy. But by pulpit preaching, we misunderstood every single word. So by pulpit preaching, absolutely, we mistook every word. I'm going to move back and sit back down. So we have all of the excitement. Everything is just super hyped up, super excited. And I'm, I'm, I'm now having to ask myself with... Uh, 500 years expulsion as compared to 
everything. It turned into that the Bible itself was inspired legend. What's inspired legend? If we can use it one way for one thing and it breaks us is another way for something and it, it makes us kind of laugh. Oh, is that what we did? It gives us the opportunity to just say we're sorry. The and that's that's where it's at. That's where that. That's where it's at. So we're in the year sixteen sixty six conundrum. I think I labeled this one Max's Revenge, or something. Uh, is so big and complicated into the 1537 i have to start here um to kind of this is kind of the end point okay all of my everything i've gathered gathered at 1666 got burned and so 1537 the matthew bible can't read it so there's no authority in it it just represents what we don't have authority to continue to teach. We actually had no authority for any any verse in the Bible to be using them as we were. They, they but wish that ye should reject faith. At they sh I want to deal with that. I'm killing this. As of right now, what I've found with this year 666, the idea is that face-to-face um, -face provide the concluded conclusion to a simple way to use Facebook in order to, to confirm our theory of origin, which I think is kind of weird. Will you use God knew his, in this expulsion, he knew we were going to make Facebook, that Zohar over and over says Facebook, Facebook, Facebook. And yet it began like this. So we were sealed. We are actually still in this methodology and thinking Oops. and in 1602 and it, it began with the, the book of Matthew, Matthew we have the evolution of the word book it, it evolved with it changed without record keeping that we are I like that definition of it it changed without record keeping evolution yeah it happened Something wiggled. We have some form of thing, and we called it that. But did it evolve? On the origin of the species, caught that little reminder. By the way, we had James Escher to consider with this, and they didn't consider it. They just continue that, that just a flagrant, yeah, duh. There to them, they authored it, but they didn't question it. Almost a bad joke. So, these people didn't, you know, okay, what good is science if we're not going to rely on them? That's a legitimate question, I guess. I'm not a crackers. Set up for recycling. What good is it if we don't have it? Yeah, I don't. The word B O K E in 15, 1537 evolved or became evolved into the word B O O K E. Book, book. I'm not sure how they. Monty Python.
And Monty Python providing us that provides the best instance. But here we can carry, carry a message. The Sermon on the Mount. How do you uh, sit down and teach that in, in groups such, a, such as Alcoholics Anonymous where they really don't want you to do Yeah, people quote, well, I'll, I'll feel so good. What I can't have, to have to explain... I was trying to explain to a young earth creationist why this, and they're like, well, you know what? God loves you. And that does and It's like, go to this one verse. So I do, and they get mad at me for the way I'm doing it. Okay, let's check the dates. Let's check the authorship. No, go straight to it. Just read it. I want you, you know, for what? So you can pull up a breach to me over the phone? No, I'm going to gather the, the source authority. So it's a struggle in this particular case with the, a, a Baptist member. No, go straight to what I, the verse I memorized. No, the cherry picked, I got the numbers floating around and some, some happiness, and I can mutate, I can evolve the, the meaning as much as I want with just the numbers. John 3.16, for God so loved the world. But... 2 Timothy 3.16, all scripture is inspired. So I went over 200 translations, and I found over two pages of stuff to, that inspired come, came from. So if with the 1537 is inspired, well, it provides us the evolution of the word book. So wisdom... Because Jesus' Bible that he handed to Constantine, according to Archco Volumes, I think is where I read that, um, was this super big thing. He made 50 copies of them, 50 handwritten copies, and like 22 by 36 big things. And... I think of the whole Bible and like seven pages of uh, something like that. Should we imagine that? Twelve point font, spread apart, collated sections. Put the crown in with it so you'll have at least 24 pages. Get Torah into it so you'll have 30. Picture book. It's a picture book. Pangea. A Neolithic re-immersion. Re I, I honestly, because it got questions on internet called.org ministries, God loves you. And he wants us to be working together to do the right thing. Um, God, God loves you and he loves what we did. He's just using us. We're, we're kind of the, the bitch in this. Filling in to something that did not exist. So in a thousand years, there might be any Bible. No, nothing I write will be around. I don't care. Nothing I put together will be around. And it will all go back to the oral tradition and better record keeping without the constant debate, return to a Neolithic mindset because we have Neolithic logic, Neolithic everything. So this year, 1666 thing, I've been, uh, uh, by doing this, but dedicating it to my dog, Just a transpositional layer in time. I'm not going to write much. I'm going to record myself. Because these just pop up. By the way, the earth is not 6,000. 
I'm sorry. I'm going to do one like that. I'm sorry we got James S. Schrenkert. When I saw the multitudes, I snipped out every place we got James Escher correct, and I figured out where, and we did the same thing, and we, we blew on the Bible a couple more times, and, and uh, we, 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 were, we were shot out to Australia. We were shot out to everywhere that we erased. Kind of the, we're just in hell. Hey. So I'm bouncing around Facebook now, friend who joined. With the Dead Sea Scrolls, it's not a, uh, we have to make every word of the Bible new. So I'm pressing these out far enough to understand what the old words used to say. Uh, make sense out of them to see how they go into the new things. And so there's a lot of movement. We only need the one-liners. Jesus gave some one-liners. There's only a, a pad full of stuff if, if, of his teachings. He doesn't have many one-liners. A lot of activities, which really just difficult to follow because it, it's he's leaving evidence that he was stealing the dead. I don't like to say steal. He was preserving the Dead Sea Scrolls because they were using them incorrectly and he knew that they would not... He, he knew that, but Jesus actually removed the, the second temple scripture from Jesus actually removed the Dead Sea Scrolls. And then worked with Titus to have the temple built. And that was the the false Messiah of he was murdered. Thank you. Brabus, I was reading that earlier today. He, so, let's read about his crucifixion. It's because the power of the king. The crucifixion. Okay, we, we took God and Moses out of this, so he's not in here. This is a, a... Then the soldiers of the governor took the guy into the proetarium and gathered the whole Roman cohort around him. So, it's a good question. Now, Jesus stood before the governor, and the governor questioned him. We have this whole story. Now, when morning had come, all of the chief priests and elders of the people took counsel against Jesus to put him to death. So, he's fabricating this. He's lying to us. He's not lying. He, he's protecting us. That's what he's doing here. He's, he's protecting us. And they bound him and led him and delivered him up to Pilate, the governor. So he, Jesus worked with Titus to have the temple destroyed. And he put in this, this would have been fiction, legend. Then Judas who had betrayed him. So here we have, we have, then when Judas, who had betrayed them, then when, who had, <laughs> then when, who had betrayed him. So not only do we have the appearance of Judas, we have the, how we got betrayed. We got then when Jesus, who had betrayed him, well, okay, we already know that. So where did this get written down and why? Well, that would have been a later scribe. So who put that first one in there? The <laughs> the one who's going to murder me. Yeah, I, I don't know. It was a betrayal. So it went before the Sanhedrin which is in the the various things. And then, oh, I see something there. The conspiracy, this is titled as, now while they were on their way, behold, some of the guard came into the city and reported that the chief priests, all that had happened. And when they had assembled the elders and council together, they gave a large sum of money to the soldiers. 
We're at 250 trillion hallucinations and 22 trillion dollars of delusions. God would prefer world peace. And God, you are to say his disciples came by night and stole him away while they were asleep. So we have controversy and did it even happen? And a lie. When I called the multitudes, I went up on the mountain. My disciples came to me. And after they took the money and did as they had been instructed, and this story, as a Shekinah, was widely spread among the Jews and to this day. So this came out as legend. That's what happened. Okay. The... Um, with the Pharisees and some of the scribes gathered together around him when they had come from Jerusalem. So Jesus is teaching and had seen that some of his disciples were eating with their hands bread with impure hands that is unwashed. That's the ritual hand washing which evolved into the process of baptism. For Pharisees and all the Jews do not eat unless they are carefully washed their hands. So the, the ritual hand washing taken out, make sure yeah, it's perfectly clean and never forget and get your hands beaten if you forget. <laughs> make your kids cry and make it difficult to remember all of the got the difficulty in remembering everything that just came. Okay. And when they came from the market place, they do not eat unless they cleanse themselves. So here we're cleansing the Bible, taking the bread crumb of a false Messiah and trying to see what we're doing. Now he was telling them a parable. So he's, Luke, there's no promise, it's a sermon. So he's talking to his disciples. Now that all the time, times they have to pray and not lose heart. There's no appearance of this being a sermon. This is, he's talking with his disciples, saying there was in certainly a certain judge who did not fear God and did not respect man. Yet in the year 1666, the Bible said, Kafakath. And there was a window in that city, and she kept coming to him, saying, Give me legal protection from my opponent. And for a while he was unwilling, but afterwards he said to himself, Even though I do not fear God, nor respect man, because this widow bothers me, I will give her legal protection. Plus, continually, continually coming, she wear me out. I think of the uh, maturity of a child. The maturity, I'm thinking, sitting there looking at a piece of candy once, getting worn out, worn out, and, and wearing family out. You, you know how it's shaking it and type thing. Well, Similar. Similar. Therefore, he also says in another psalm, Thou wilt allow the Holy One to undergo decay. <laughs> We're warned in the book of Acts. There he also says in another psalm, Thou wilt not allow thy Holy One to undergo decay. <laughs> We took God out of the Bible. <laughs> we actually took God out of his books. And the only thing I can do is a single I'm sorry. Hmm. Which is peace. Which is honor. The large 
18 by or 24 by 36, 18 by 24 folders. I think I'm going to write instructions on how to lift out the ship from the extra biblical marks that other put put in there. We were told to make everything new. Everything new. Almost there. Okay, pray for what that needs to look like. Because I've been 13 years, and now all I get to do is write a newspaper article. I'm quite dismissed. God wants me to take no, no, wow, look at what I did. <laughs> and it's more, look at, look at what I didn't do. Wow, look at what I did. What? Look at what I didn't do. Look at what we accidentally did. So we, we actually nullified. We broke the covenant, we nullified the the capacity of the Bible by having atheists. We nullified the capacity of the Bible by having any debt. We nullified any any capacity of the Bible by uh, what, like I was just describing, trying to getting it from an elder. It's like. I have to respect this person there, my, my girlfriend's mom. I can't tell her that. Um, no, she's, I'm saying no. No. So she goes straight to that. Well, you know what it says right here. And so, no, 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 no. Just go straight to the verse because she could only handle, she was talking about those words. I was pushing it out far enough. Okay, let me gather data. When I saw the multitudes, I... Jesus kind of said, hey, you know, so Jesus kind of said, he, hey. Jesus kind of said, he, hey. with the pop culture capacity of at a mistake, it is also, I'm going to blow out the Bible and say, we don't need it. For anything in its current modern irreverent state, it's, 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 it's formless and void. We knew that. <coughs> Just not well. The absolute is that we don't need the Bible because we're not currently using it right. Speaking of not using it right, I did that one back entirely backwards. Also, so we're, we're not using the Bible correctly. And we're not using the Bible correctly because... People don't want to hear people banter. Well, you know, you know what Jesus said? Yeah, I know exactly what Jesus said. But in that particular experience, no, go to this verse and tell me what it says. That it kept, it kept uh, okay, I'm going to do it properly and not just go cherry pick. So... She is trained to lose and got frustrated at me. 
for example. Going to make her point. Jesus said that. Well, I'm saying Jesus also said he's a false Messiah. But I wasn't telling her that. I was just telling her questions on the internet called the Order Ministries. We're working together to, to, to conclude the James Escher teachings. Figure out what to do with it. Best to say, what did we do wrong with the Bible? I like that one. What, how did we miss you? It's entire existence. <laughs> how did we misuse it? And how did God know we find... Who cares? The... is The big deal. We were in the wrong. And he wants the last say. So he was the last say, he left us in the medieval hangover and the medieval blackout. Is it good? I like to consider October 23, 4004 BC. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We got it stuff. We got it stuff. It's expired. Oops. We should have We should have thought about that. Um, okay. And. So the, the biblical expiration date was the James Escher chronological order sense. But what do we do with it if that is the case? It's, it's, uh, we sit down and we handwrite it. We, we bring it back into our schools. We bring, back, we bring in the Zohar. The Zohar is one more for me to walk into someplace like Alcoholics Anonymous the, because it's for that setting. The Zohar in Aramaic for me to push out Facebook with the world peace. Think about this. I haven't done any of that yet, by the way. I have done a lot of uh, come join me in my group here. Hey, think about this one a little bit. You know, uh, uh, I've gotten so many people like, why would you, what, what's the deal? Why would I care? Of course, no one cares. You don't care that you, your science is bad. You don't care that your children are, are broken. You don't care that. So I'm a hermit. By my standard, I'm still a bit, bit because I, I, in that, I have a sex, I have a, I have sex, I have a girlfriend, and it's sex outside of marriage too. I have a girlfriend. The, uh, so is that a sin? No, it's, it's. <sighs> wrong writer and indifferent it's not the purpose is putting any my way of living is that I honestly you know I I, I, I read articles and stuff how often people have uh, thoughts of you know, naked people in their heads and stuff yeah, often you know, that's what our minds are to do. We're, we are formless and void. We're only, we're visual nothings. Uh, we're drops of sperm to God. He, somehow, the, that 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 NASA can say, yeah, we know the Earth's not 6,000 years old. That's a good reason to be atheist. Uh, or, no, they never learn. They never learn. They never learn. They only saw the chaos. They only so I could take the chaos of the church. I could take the chaos of whatever line I'm in from the expulsion of the, and then we're in the super highly techno, highly evolved state of existence. So the. 
the dark haired gentleman, uh, the pastor in God Questions.org's ministry on the Masonic one where you can watch the Holy Spirit bopping in, in his head, and I keep picking on it because he's got what appears to me as a, a homosexual male lisp. It's a, it's a characterization of what God can do to us. So these lips look a lot like closer to George Washington's because of how you know, how, how it's more relaxing to be in a state of this state than always. I'm always flapping my lips. I'm always talking. I'm always talking to myself. <laughs> it was even better when I had the dog. At least I had somebody to look up at me. <laughs> Dad, I love you. <laughs> it's, oh, so I miss Max. Max, 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 Max. Uh, so what I'm doing here in in this now that I'm getting into this year 1666 conundrum deep enough to know what how we could actually use it for Facebook. <laughs> you were taught this. This is you. Human evolution. This is me. In the year 1666, Sabbatai Savai was, bad things happened. Human evolution, first record writing, 3200 BC. This is you. In the year 1666, more things, bad things happened to it. The King James Bible went kaplop. And so that's two. In the year 1666, Sabbatai Sabai, King James Bible, and the Askantawa Yido Bible contained the Testament and the Twelve Patriarchs, which is I've witnessed in the Ethiopic Tawahito Orthodox tradition, which is the sit down, what will what will we gain from that? Well, the the Masonic it's not a pulpit performance. The church is pulpit performances. Absolutely. Eyes wide blind to how it's affecting all of the ecstatic dance, all of the excitement, all of the no need, all of the move, all of the mating, and most of the conversation because we got expelled from the Garden of Eden. We're mating with, with everyone else. I'm not Jew. I might have some part American mutt, but I'm German. So, yeah, I meant, hey, I'm German. I'm doing that on Facebook. I'm German. Hello, I'm German. This is what I'm looking at. Blop. I like that. This is what I'm looking at. By the way, by the way. So I actually left for the very first time. And I've always known we were kind of in hell and weren't. Um, the Facebook hell. Facebook hell. I can actually use hell on Facebook. I put a smile on face and it looks funny when I put something like, look at what just happened. <laughs> Facebook help. <laughs> and so it actually fits so hard. It actually fits. So our Bible went come fuck and <laughs> the Zohar tells us to fix it on Facebook. Our Bible is to fuck and that is no hard to fix on Facebook. The right, wrong, or indifferent. How many times could I go along and yeah, it's yeah. Oh. Oh. I'm gonna see what I can do with it. I was uh, discussing it with an engineering friend of mine, retired, good guy. But in the first couple of notes, he's like, why would you even care? Yeah, why? It's not a big enough, it's not a problem, so nobody thinks about it. And it being not a problem, we found the not the problem. 
in John 1.18, we took it literal and we didn't take the other things literal. And not a problem. However, we found a problem with a solution. We found something that we didn't even know we had. It fit. We didn't, but it confirms that none of the record had been verified. We just took it as it came from the prior. With instructions to make everything new, we took it as it came. So how did we get sealed in the time? We don't. Nothing changed. We evolved it. Which is why the evolution of my Baptist church went from me being baptized in it with over 200 people in the Sunday morning congregations down to 30 went in a beautiful building. And so that church evolved out. I just heard Spirit tell me to start with the evolution of my Baptist church. That'll be pretty simple. Pray for wisdom. Because I'm not actually doing anything but giving my own testimony, taking three verses, cherry picking three verses, and, and then puffing on the rest and saying the rest is yours. With gotquestions.org ministries there uh, in the poster child. I haven't actually been there for a couple of days. That's where we at. Got, did we take a break? Wanted to, uh, I'll just spend some time there. 599158. Um, what's new? Is there any evidence of the Exodus? Yes, there is. Oh, it doesn't mean that man is few days in full. Job, Job, so we answer a question with Job. So where did we get this relationship to how we answered it is a question. And then Valentinism, that's uh, that, their cult, we're cult. <laughs> Which one of us is a cult? <laughs> you know, <laughs> the, of course. So let's see what I like that. Who is Valentinus? Let's learn a little bit about Valentinus. What is uh, what is Valentinianism? I'm actually not very familiar with that, just that I know the name. And here we have Valentinus. So we're in this date range, the 69 or 70. So we have a range, AD 1. Uh, so we have a 60-year uh, clear range. It was Gnostic theologian. We're also Gnostic theologians, but we're holding him uh, captive here. He was born in Egypt, out of Egypt, I'll call my son, but moved to Alexandria as a child. He was given a Greek education and supposedly became a student of Theodos, Theodos Theudas, who had studied with the Apostle Paul. Wow. So, so here... What influence did he have on the Apostle Paul? You have a 157. History says Valentin, Valentinus became an eloquent, well-known teacher in Rome under that rhetorical, okay, uh, that uh, let's use Valentinus as an example, uh, the big pits where they would, the art of rhetoric is an in interesting one where you're taught the public performance to teach and persuade. Of course, that's advertising and that's marketing. So he, he was out there out of Egypt. I'll call my son under students we have no record of because we uh, it's an oral tradition. And uh, um, we lost him in 157. We got a sacred. His fame made him a contender for the Bishop of Rome. I don't know much about that history, so I'll leave that to you kids. 
the position he lost at Antecedas. At that point, Valentinus left Rome, reemerged as a pro proponent of Gnosticism, and developed teachings to have become known as Valentinianism. So in this particular case, I'm quite familiar with Valentinianism. The, uh, the, and here, Valentinus attempted to support his false teachings with the assertion that they were secret doctrines Paul handed down to him. <laughs> and we're keeping James Usher. However, his dogmas, dogmas stand in stark contrast to scripture. Dogmas, of course. Personal interpretation, getting something written down from what I was describing, of go to that individual verse, no, go straight there, is... Well, let's figure out. First, I got to take Jesus off the cross before I can go take a word, you know. How did this, did, did, you know, did he walk through a puddle to get there? He walked on water. Why can't I go did, to get, spend a whole two minutes? She actually got kind of frustrated. So, no, it's just frustrated. Weird. That's not how I studied. The, so didn't have the patience and understanding of what you would obtain to sit down and study it, which is the proof on it. So here we have a lot of information. So uh, we have contrast, okay, his dogmas. I'm not. Let's learn a little bit. Define dogma. Principle or set of principles laid down by an authority as uncontrovertible, uncon true con controversy, you know the word, sorry. Dogma is an official system of principles or, doc or doctrines of a religion, such as Roman. Okay, Roman, everything had to become new. So Rome, the... Greek, no, 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 G, Aramaic, Greek, doesn't, it's all, uh, we're all, we actually erased God from the Bible by smoothing out all the lines with the, as we were erasing it, coming up with our own set of principles to uh, the exact same thing, but I don't, I don't, I'm not a Valentinus in that I've never, that was a long time ago. So we will actually never know because it was an oral tradition. However, his dogmas stand in stark contrast to scripture. How, in this, yes, maybe they do. According to our interpretation, they stand in stark contrast to the $22 trillion of debt Australian Aboriginal having remained there for 65,000 years also. So, for example, Valentinium Cosmogony starts... Uh, as we kind of mature out of this, I want to get into, for example, Valentinium Cosmogony started with a primal being called Bythos. Starts, leaves it open-ended, go confirm for yourself, take what you want. It's, it's the, I'm going to teach something, I'm going to pulpit preach it. It starts with, rather than the authority, I know Valentinian dogma so much and how it stands in, it, it, it stark contrast, because Majini started with a primal being called Bythos, but because we are not, because we're fucking with their mystical documents and twenty-two trillion dollars in debt, and uh, we actually have never seen Valentinius in there, and we don't know. We get into some of the cosmogony with the primal being, so the primal or the primordial ooze of God masturbating on the ground and getting us young earth creations called Bythos, when ter turn produce spiritual beings, the aeons, in a higher realm. And so you, the gospel, the false 
false gospel of Judas, which is not a false gospel of Judas. It's a weird gospel of Judas. Um, Valentinian, I don't think he would have had familiar, but he might have. He might have seen the Gospel of Thomas. He might have, He would have been very fascinated with anything he got his hands on. Uh, that people came to, I'll bring you, a, I'll bring you a trinket. So Valentinian cosmogony started with the primal being, who in turn placed, turn produced. I like that produced spiritual beings. So, so that's Barbados, the aeons. In a higher realm, Barbados, the the plethora, the uh, the Merkaba that's going to appear on Facebook, as is found in other Gnostic teachings. One of these beings made by a mistake by creating the physical world in which humanity is trapped. Okay, as I'm reading this, got questions on internet called the org ministries, human uh, in which humanity is trapped. So we're trapped. What I just saw myself doing with Aramaic, pushing, responding personal notes. Okay, then with World Peace. I, I did use my, my World Peace group. How to start World Peace. Let's learn a lot. As found in other Gnostic teachings, not yet compared, <laughs> one of the the beings made a mistake by creating a physical world which humanity is trapped. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. Yes. And the same sprinkling of trapping for Val Valentinus and other Gnostics, there's no mixing a spiritual world with the physical. So, Take Jesus on the cross, you remove the physical, and you go to the spiritual. However, they rejected the incarnation, so words, crucifixion. Okay, so they rejected the crucifixion and bodily resurrection of Jesus, which, of course, according to their, their rejecting that it didn't happen, um, it makes it seems like... It, it, in this past tense, from what legend we kind of remember, I guess, um, because that was a comment. There was no, you know, yeah, the, the Islam said Jesus uh, uh, was uh, a prophet and uh, wasn't God. What, but if God made us in his image, how could any of us not be God? I, I, we, were, we are the gods of this planet in his image. And so, but we, because we, our humanity was trapped in, in that we shall look at this God this way. For Valentinus and other Gnostics, there was no mixing of the spiritual world with the physical. They rejected the incarnation. So the incarnation, crucifixion, and bodily resurrection of Jesus. This sounds... No, they rejected that this even happened. They rejected our legend and bodily resurrection. Because they rejected the crucifixion, the bodily resurrection couldn't have happened. And so Valentinus caught on that, well, that something a little different happened. Thus, they rejected the incarnation. Let's look up incarnation. And... Max will come out here in a little bit. Incarnation, a person who embodies in the flesh a deity, spirit, or abstract quality. So, Valentinus rejected the person who embodied in the flesh a deity, 
who embodies, but I, I can't handle that. Moving forward, we're putting a D at the end of these words. Who A person who embodied in the flesh a deity or spirit or abstract quality. That is such a kind of drop some sperm on the ground statement. You can, you can come up with however that bounces around in your brain to all these words because it's an abstraction with reference to reincarnation. So it's a negative abstraction. Well, we already know that one's not observed. So one of a series of lifetimes that a person spends on earth. The one that bothers me is, you know, 27 people in, in my block, yeah. <laughs> A reincarnated as Cleopatra type thing. Yeah. There's there's some insanity with some of this shit. Uh, okay, let's let's get up, Max. Actually, oh, we're playing with Max. The this is to fill in. Um so dogma. Uh, no, I was doing incarnation. Incarnation. Copy. Google Translate, I want to see it in Hebrew. Vehicle driving. So I, I just took in car. Oh, incarnation. And it, it gave us vehicle driving when I took incarnation, the word, and translated it into Hebrew. <laughs> incarnation, vehicle driving. That's kind of interesting. The, uh, okay, vehicle driving still, so I'm going to, and it was, it was because of that dash, it was to be in car, in a shun, so I figured that, <laughs> vehicle driving, that was kind of interesting, God, God kind of, this is a fun little unique tool, so embodiment Metamorphosis, pupation, incarnation, realization, incarnation, incorporation, materialization. So the manifestation is a common word. Incarnation are common words. Um, pretty much anything spiritual God wants us to stop talking about. He wants his, he wants his topic brought out. Then his, um, he wants his words the rolling, avatar, metamorphosis, incarnation, metamorphosis, transfiguration. Here's the one. Turning around, kneading, like kneading bread, revolving, tumble. This is incarnation in my mind, absolutely. Rolling around, let's, let's add God into this with the letter H. Hey. The incarnation. Uh, uppercase incarnation when it concludes with the letter H. Hey. So adding God to the word incarnation, the, the, the machine was smart enough to put it from rolling to uppercase from the word that began incarnation, lowercase, rolling, without God, it was rolling. I like that one. Without God, it was rolling. Without the letter, hey, it was rolling. Incarnations are rolling in a 6,000-year tumble. And when we added God, and as I'm saying, pop up at all of these spots that in the Bible, such as, God and Moses face to face, it, it fixes. This is kind of interesting. Maxwell, okay, my turn. Resh, foot rolling. <laughs> Wheelchair. Ha! Ah! So you put rush at the beginning, rolling. It's, it, incarnation uh, puts the letters, that, which gives us 
incarnation, but in the, the form rolling, which I'm explaining. The incarnation is that is a rolling ball. Metamorphosis, the transfiguration, but it's still rolling down a hill. What are all its tumble? It says it's revolving, it's it's kneading, it's turning around. So repentance right there. And then when I put resh, what did it turn? It turned into foot rolling. So uh, resh, foot rolling on uh, beginning with resh, wheelchair ending with resh. <laughs> that, that was kind of cute. Resh and God. God uh, let's see. What? Gagulera. Firewood. Smooth and cold, that smooth and cold. See, God is actually talking to us <laughs> through this thing. You do rest, smoke, board. God is actually talking to us through. Oh, fuck. Do it. Required. <laughs> God's talking to us. Fuck. <laughs> do it. Required. <laughs> Well, I guess we'll do that. So uh, we are in the year 1666 conundrum using my dog and Maxwell is his name uh, in memory and testimony that he he lived for 14 years and seven months and uh, was euthanized on 3-7-2-8-2018 and was uh, confused that NASA scientists were walking on earth breathing his air and not understanding that apes didn't grow up to become him. Oh, so uh, do it required. Okay, we'll do it. We'll, we're going to <laughs> do it required. I like God. It's like, fuck you. Okay, uh, firewood. So let me go back to incarnation. <laughs> that was cool. Thanks, God. Okay. Embodiment, transfiguration, rolling. Flat earth thinking, young earth thinking, rolling around, I guess. The so rolling. Gamache Valio, let's look it up. So, oh, this, uh, this is a big deal. 72. It, incarnation, it's, its numerical code is 72. That's a big fucking deal right there. Incarnation, that numeric, any way it's ever been used before, not. Nah, it's over right there uh, with that number. And it says balance. I'll be back. I'll be back. Idaho, look at Look at all of the Neolithics in Idaho. A man, ha ha ha, dead again. Who put this stuff in here? You know, decimal. Why would they do? And then Big Bob, PhD, Malakal, Black Bile. God wants all of this taken out on Facebook. He wants kind of a, a weird Facebook reunion. Look at what I can do for you. I can't write anything. I can only do work. Got questions on internet cult.org ministries. This may sound kind of crappy. No one will dis care if we disappear tomorrow. No one will notice. A few people, oh, they, they did. Okay. They, they, and I, oh, I wonder what. Um, if we just shut down, however, what we would lose is no one would know how we evolved into having it. <laughs> you know, we would never have it. We would never have it. We would never have it. it what, what I just read in Incarnation is we would never have it. If, if we didn't do this ourselves. So I'm going to take rolling. I'm going to do incarnation in Maxwell again.
Okay. Rolling. The incarnation of Maxwell. So the incarnation of Maxwell, the sentence, the incarnation of Maxwell is incarnation, but then with what it, God said, okay, my Hebrew is going to take care of this, and I'm going to have an uppercase, I'm going to put a the, and I'm going to have a lowercase incarnation of, and it's still an uppercase for Maxwell. The, so it's still named proper. I don't know how. I don't know why. <laughs> Third, go to Maxwell. Okay. We're going to take that go to Maxwell. But I said third. Wave at Maxwell. Whip. And Max Maxwell, see, so it gives us a lot of junk because, of course, Gallo to Maxwell. Rolling from XVL. <gasps> okay, XVL, well, which, which you can see XVL rolling on, on books and stuff. Okay. Incarnation Mac Swell. <laughs> that was kind of weird. <laughs> Incarnation Max of all. Rolling Max O and Rolling Max W two. So let's put Resh. Incarnation of Max Weller. I God and nothing changed. You know, God is static in this when you add the letters hey it Sometimes makes things like okay, I'll, excuse me. Um, began Maxwell's leg rolling. Okay, Maxwell's reincarnation by adding God and Resh, we took it from the in the incarnation of Maxwell, God and Resh, Hay and Resh, um, Mountain, the incarnation of Maxwell. Put concatenated together, it becomes Maxwell's. It is my uh, possessive reincarnation. So this put that from formality. I'm saying with the the past tense, we figured this one out. It's closed. There's nothing on. We have that authority to end that. To end that sentence to say this is what it meant, and and then. That 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 I had no authority to teach somebody that had to had to show me their interpretation of a verse, and I'm showing them that no, you're using that verse wrong, and taking it completely out of context. And because it took, you know, okay, I'm going to step through the contextual relationships rather than going straight. Well, go to my bracket. It was a it was a closed-minded discussion. Very limited discussion. And it was, I, I, since I was surprised in, in coming to conclude that Jesus, I'd known Jesus had his handwriting, but coming to conclude that he was actually a false messiah, he didn't die, something else didn't. <coughs> I can only say that's because uh, because Jews aren't me, and they're not. I was uh, they're not those white wafer wisps of nothing around Pullman I see everywhere that are just blanket that glazed over a deer in the headlight look like wow I'm out of I I'm out of my uh, out of the bird's nest. This is going to be such a disappointing disappointment. It's like, really? That was it? But the uh, reality is, what I'm going to putting on now is 
Okay. The instructions told us to take Jesus off the cross. If I would not have spent 13 years, I wouldn't doing that. I know nothing that I know right now. However, the disappointment of having take, spent 13 years is I figured out that the Bible had a Bible verse, two Bible verses that were, weren't, you weren't even known about. <laughs> you know, it's like, we don't even know how to use this book. And we had nobody to confirm that it was been used wrong. <gasps> yeah, so we have to take the whole thing away from everyone because the authority, I'll take the individual authority to just say, yeah, which is how I came up with the eyes wide shut syndrome. And yes, Jesus was a false messiah, a true man, a, a true living person. So was he God? Yeah, he told him heaven is among us, hell is among us. He told him, uh, yeah, all it, it, he asked the question. A leading question with an inspired of how did this get written down 40 years later? The uh, he asked the, the question, Is it not written in your law? Ye are gods. Well, what are we going to do that? That we're gonna, oh, and we can't be gods, we're gonna hold our uh, taking the divine image of myself out of that by saying, I'm, I'm not a god, I'm a human. Jesus is not a god, he's a human, but he was all god and all human because I always thought that I actually, until only the last couple of weeks, I always thought that Jesus um, was murder. Nobody cared. More of a troublemaker. Get him out of my way. I've always believed in the death and resurrection. It made no sense to me to have the Bible and, and not believe that. So what would that mean? He false. He, he he kept record of who he observed in the rhetorical sense of how that went down, and then now we have the final conclusion of how that went. <laughs> yeah, we got that. Over <laughs> twenty-two trillion dollars in hallucinations, and I have no idea how to take care of all this. I have no idea what's going to happen in the next five years. <laughs> no, <laughs> let's see what I can do with Facebook. How many world peace that? It'll be interesting. Yeah. But so I went on some friends' Facebook calls and recorded myself saying, I'm not going to let my granddaughter uh, turn into a mitad ape. On, uh, we're not doing that. So I posted on, 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 on the, their walls and shared the posts that were. We're doing this. We're taking this on. And we're doing this bullshit. <laughs> I can't fucking stop there. A waste of 13 years. A waste of 13 years. And I took Jesus off the cross. Well, in the manner, uh, in the most stupid manner, too. At the end. Oh, duh. <laughs> <laughs> As compared to, I wonder what I'll find <coughs> if I do this. <laughs> I guess that's what I did. There was so much hidden information in me in between, like the Second Timothy three sixteen example. I did that for quite a few years ago. Second Timothy three sixteen says all, so I'm going to get all, and I had an all, and it's like whoa, that's what you can do with it. And then all, so how would in, in that particular case, how did Valentinus utilize the four Gospels separately, independently, and different 
we'll never know because it was an oral tradition and we really don't care. And in that we'll never know, in a thousand years, got questions on internet called the ministry. The, the uh, beauty of it is in a thousand years, no one's going to, pro we're going to just be wisps of time. They're not, they, the name might be, and then, okay. Yeah, remember way back when. Yeah, I was taught that in school. Uh, 500 years ago, some insane Jewish mystic found, found the internet was broken by, 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 by his 6,000 year medieval magic movie. The. <laughs> <laughs> God medievally splurged. God medievally splurged. God masturbated is the only example, only explanation I have for that one. He told us not to spill his seat on our seat on the ground, and he got us. I guess God thus directs you as regards your children's inheritance to the male, a portion equal to that of two females, if only daughters. Two or more, their share is two thirds of their inheritance. If only one, her share is half. Thank you for joining. Behold, God promised you one of the two enemy parties that it should be yours. He you wished that the one unarmed should be yours, but God willed to justify the truth according to his words, and cut out the roots of the unbelievers. So, in a realistic, I'm taking this, but we're taking a long time to do it because I don't want any rapid movements. Of, no, no, nothing quick. Nothing quick. Why would we do it? to see that it works and it will change something. We haven't done anything different for in them. We've never done what the teachers actually do. We put our teachers in pulpits for our students and our students are taught through an oral tradition. Can I trust this teacher? Are they good? Are they good at rhetoric? Are they sealed within their, I'm a re re rhetoric, I'm a can't say the word rhetoric, rhetorician. Yeah, I, I, I'm then, but how that's always rhetoric is always something I'm going to say something and you're going to challenge me. So I'm saying something in order to be challenged. I'm teaching something false. Come and challenge me. And the Pharisees and some of the scribes gathered together around him when they had come from Jerusalem. How would we have used this? And they uh, nothing Pharisees. So if we were doing a, a study on the Pharisees to learn a, bit, a little bit more about them. And then it says when they came to them and when they come from the marketplace. And when they came from, when they come from, that's that solidarity, past tense, it happened, it's done. Put a little uh, hole in one right here, a little flag. They do not eat unless they cleanse themselves. And then there are many other things which they have received in order to observe such, such as the washing of cups and pitchers and pots so we have we have we have we have shit that they did and we don't know why because they did it was uh, uh, so they're kind of making fun of us that the author here was kind of making fun of us kind of making fun of us Okay. All right. Thank you. I'm going to fuck around on Facebook. And I'm going to get some Aramaic out there and start commenting. 
you, but I've been doing you, me, you, you are typing grade ape, me, I am not typing grade ape, I've got all of these, I'm looking at these dates, 1666, you, oh, 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 I can, let me, I'm, um, so we were fucking with Max, let's, let's fuck around with this, I'm going to go grab the safari.org czar. Kind of. Oh, they're going to get so much just like you. They're going to get all sorts of shit in, in Aramaic and they're just going to get what? Oh, absolutely. Let's see how this works. Okay. Rabbi Hiskai opened. It is written as a rose among the, the thorns. That that arose the is the and okay it is written as a rose so it is written click up it will be written it was written it is written it's right over there it's written it's done it's written as a rose among the thorns we we have quite a few the rose is the assembly of Israel that solidarity. Not was, not will be, not uh, is, because there is a rose and there is a rose. There's rose, there's rose. Just as rose among the thorns is tinged with red and white, the assembly of Israel consists of judgment and warm mercy. Just as a rose has 13 petals, the assembly of Israel is surrounded on, on all sides with 13 attributes of mercy. However, Elohim that is here, that is here, brought it to bring out 13 words that surround the assembly of Israel and safeguard it. Excuse me for a moment. Okay, so the what am I doing? I'm, I'm going to fuck around on Facebook a little bit. And we're going to test this in this moment for a new joint. And okay, I'm going to take all of this. On YouTube.
So where are we at? Um, NPR, James Taylor says narrating his life for fame. No, what? Just, I'm going to do whatever I just did. Dog drove. So horses rescued from uh, something. Seattle, Phoenix Masonic Museum and Library. Let me con. I'm going to comment on this. Put a just to see how this no one will use this. This will when did man invent writing? Okay. Human evolution. This is all it takes in all of these fucking things. The when did man invent writing? Human evolution. It's is So this is a you me. Human evolution is the evolutionary process that led to the emergence of the you. <laughs> it's like, ah, and then it's all this Aramaic. <laughs> I love that. It's like, what the? F now you stop, you, in the year 1666, the Testament of the Twelve Patriarchs. Me. <laughs> me. Capital K. Me. You. <laughs> Homo sapiens as a distinct species of typing apes. You. Me. <laughs> so I use the. I'll use the King James. This is so fucking hard to work with. This is is virtually impossible. It's just. It's, me. Sixteen did the sabotage to buy that. 
I'll do the grape file one here, I guess. Test control, so it's, and then sabotage the bio. Okay. Me. <laughs> Me. You. <laughs> this looks beautiful. Holy. 1666. King James. Great by our London. Sabotage survive. Me. <laughs> you. So this will be in a Mesa. Um, Me, me, you, <laughs> me. I am German. Lowercase. Doesn't matter. It's all informal. This is just face to face fucking bantering. So I want a. That's all. They never even talk about anything legitimate. It's like, how were you yesterday? It's like, I don't know. Even what century I live in. No one gives a shit. No one cares. No one cares. Me. No one cares. Ben, so I'm taking Ben David and that other guy. He's, he's that other guy, but I'm using Aramaic here. So because I'm using Aramaic, I'm I'm using the moniker Ben David. Lowercase, informal father's name. It's all, and I'm German. Ben David. Oh, interesting rhetorical. So on Freemasons means um, you, <laughs> me, I am German. Ben David. Third week. Okay. So that looks beautiful. And that makes it so like, okay, they're looking at something. Now they have to figure out what the fuck I'm saying. So they'll take my line here. They'll take my little Aramaic one-liner, translate it, if they're smart enough to. And because it's Aramaic, it will translate in Hebrew. <laughs> it's not They're not smart enough to. But the, the, because <laughs> so it, it, they'll do detect language, and it will tell them something. And they won't know what I'm doing because some of them might know, but the English speakers won't know. The uh, detect language. Okay. And it automatically goes because there is a rose and a rose. What is the sun that is in the armpits of the red and white, even if in fine sunshine? <laughs> Of course, there's nothing like it, but it's got there is a rose and there is a rose bracketed. That's beautiful. Oh, it's bracketed already. So that, that that's fucking that's funny. They're so so they're not going to get anything but some Aramaic. I like that. And in mercy, it is the warmth of the sun and the sun, even in the law of God. So imagine them coming even in the law of God. Now these kids. 
come on, okay, I'm, I'm validating Aramaic in Hebrew and, and assuming that it's Hebrew trying to figure out what did this mean, make sense out of it. They can type S, oops, this is kind of cool. God's hooked us up here. Hebrew detected, let's go to Hebrew. The guy, guy. so S-H-I-V-A, Deans, K-R-I-S-H-N-A, to Ranan, Ranademesh, R, A, and Nadamesh. He's got making fun of me. He's, he's saying, uh, to, he's saying that this is going to take a really long time. In fact, he says, in fact, to R, in fact, thank you, catch. I'll take it and love you, Lord. If I do this shit for you, Eddie, from there. Ed, that. Ed, impressive. <laughs> In Damash. This is more of a toy. This is more of a what's going What are we going to? Okay. The, <laughs> we're, the Bible had nothing in it but uh, instructions to not lose two verses and we lost them and we then not only did we lose them we taught that they they meant something else <laughs> and he doesn't want any so not only did we teach we taught that they meant something else <laughs> and we we erased our, our brains from the bible i like that one we erased ourselves we erased ourselves so god erased us God, you fucking erased us is what that just told us. Oh, there's Russ. But so they'll never know, but you know, that's nice. So they don't get anything but the English. You get the phrase. And then I don't want to convert I don't want to converse. I want you to read. Okay, figure out that you don't know what I'm saying. And then do you just read your English words? Good, right on. <laughs> you might accomplish. Did you evolve from Moon Ape? Yes or no? Answer yes or no. <gasps> oh, 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 I'm going to, okay, my next one. I'm going to, uh, did you evolve from an ape? Are you sure that you didn't? Uh, the, the theory of evolution with this particular OP fits. <laughs> you uh, typing apes. You've heard of those who broke the Sabbath. They shall be changed into detested apes. I love God's shells because it, it's, I've never understood God shalls, to be honest. It's, it's, I always had this idea, God shall be happy. So we shall be obedient, and, and we might get to walk on water when we resurrect and we're, we're put in with a bunch of resurrected goats or something. You know, the, uh, we still have tree people. We still have tree people. This is this is a. We still have tree people. <laughs> you know, people insane, and we, we, we. There's no sensibility and commonality other than that we all breathe my dog's air. That is about it. We all breathe my dog's air, and he he's he, he was euthanized on day seven two thousand and eighteen. I'm going to go get change for bed. Thanks for joining, friend. Uh, joined. Um, yeah, this is Maxwell's little convinced NASA that Maxwell isn't uh, evolved from a cat. Using NASA's magic water factory. God, God has a, a hidden, diverse plan. And... The Zohar, I'm gonna to have to really. That's it. That 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 one's so tough. Uh oh. It'll take me my entire life to, to figure that one fucking out. I don't mind that because uh, that's what it's supposed to do. Sit down for your entire life. It's the Zohar in this roundabout way is actually my my four step inventory from Alcoholics Anonymous. It actually is. I'm as I'm reading it. You, you have the the rhetorical discussions, but there's a secondary layer as you get behind the, the Aramaic like I was just doing, and there is a second layer. And I, because I'm me, I, I even found my, my ex-wife's 
mom's first name and her son's first name. No. It was put him with the daughter and son of. Then the name. A Baptist pap. <laughs> a Baptist rat pastor. So in, in put if he sins, put him with oh it's just when I send on my mission strip. If I did, if I didn't know I I I did, yeah, alcohol is anonymous, of course I should. The um that is so I got okay, okay, that's where that yeah, if he sins, put him with the daughter's uh, daughter and son of, and yeah. It'll take me my entire life to figure out what that thing's. The the puff on the Bible, Messiah Ben David takes it all and just pulls back three verses in a prayer book. And a website. I want nothing for it. I want it to be like the lowest thing ever. Like the, the why did I even do it? Oh, I, I got a, found a lost puppy and I decided to take care of it. In order to conclude the James Asher chronology, we have to close our churches. And take Jesus off the cross. I'll put him up. Take all of his one-liners so we don't have the movement. Yeah, if you're telling it as, and Jesus went and preached a sermon, he didn't. He went and sat down. He called his four disciples. He sat down with them. He spent time training them. And we learned that by spending that time gathering that information. So we gathered everything from it. We raked through four chapters to come up with the 27 pages of information is what happened. Uh, and then... In, in raking through three three words to, to find out that it actually says nine different things. And then, oh, by the way, it says 27 different things over in, in Hebrew. You, and you get the tree people out that way. <laughs> it's like, I even got the tree people covered. <laughs> I even have the tree people covered. I don't care if you think you grew up from a dog or if you or if you mate with furries. That was the one that back in the Silicon Valley where they were. Uh, literally having um, mating with their stuffed animals. They were mating with their stuffed animals. <laughs> We've gone so far just down the shit. It's like <laughs> mating with your stuffed animals. Did you have a weird childhood? <laughs> I <don't... laughs> so, yeah. We are just all broken. We have kids out there mating with their stuffed animals that pastors don't know about because they're like, what are they doing over there? Oh, they're going to those weird places we don't let our kids go to because they, our kids might learn how to mate with stuffed animals. <laughs> As compared to just becoming an alcoholic or something like that. Yeah. <laughs> Keep them away from drugs and mating for with stuffed animals. Get a real dog. <laughs> Maxwell D.O.G. It was the dog that could find and sniff out the James Usher chronology. Thank you. Thank you for your joy. <laughs> that was a good one. Okay.